Hi, it's Kelly here, and I had the most remarkable dream that I might have ever had in my entire life. And it's a kind of a dream that not only could assist me, but I think it will be of great benefit to you to, to hear about it because it will give you an awareness into, not a, an awareness, but many, many awarenesses into your life so that you can make your life work better on an individual level and also have an understanding of how the world works, the, whole, the entire universe works. Uh, at least be an insight into it. Not that this is the final answer for all of everything, but it's huge. It's huge. All right. So I had this dream where there were these discs of clear liquid. They were round. And I, I've got a, a visual here, a plate, give you an idea of the shape. You know, they're kind of like the the, in a, a balance scale, the old-fashioned balance scale, and it might be a little bit curved, so you can put things in, and it'll hold it, uh, plates like that, or like this, sort of curved, and filled, and it was this clear liquid. And in these big circles, and they, they could be huge, they could be as big as a house or, or larger, uh, was all this different knowledge in each one. And what was remarkable about them is, now I only got this one plate here for you as an example, but imagine you have two plates and they're swirling around like this and they're not in contact with each other until at one point one little bit of the one plate comes in contact with the other plate. and it lights up the entire plate. Both plates. So now you have access to all of this here, whereas before you had access to none of it. And this is the fields of knowledge of your life. And it can include not just brain knowledge, but heart knowledge, right? And so what was happening in this in this dream is that I kept getting exposed to one plate and then to another plate and to another plate and they would bring in people with them because because the plates were just the all of everything for that particular area. And just to give you an example in your own life, um, it could be that you know as a child you grow up in, in one area of the country and and you don't know people who are over in, in, you know, three states away or five states away from you. But then you get older, and then you go to college, and so then you go to a college, but not in your state, but in, in another state, and then it brings someone from another, yet another state. And m maybe, and what happens is while you were in school, in high school, you were, you know, you had volunteered for something. And while you're at school, while you're in college, you meet, you know, you're a guy or a gal, and you meet another guy or a gal, and it turns out they also were, you know, doing some kind of service. It might even be the same club, type of club that we were volunteering to help. All right, so you hit it off, and now two worlds have come together. You from one state, let's say, let's say. Texas and the other person's in Connecticut and you're going to school at the at Florida State and whew, the two plates come together one little thing triggers you know the fact that you were being of service in this in one uh, as a volunteer and this other person was the same thing and bingo a world opens up so if you're from Texas the world of, of Connecticut opens up or vice versa the Connecticut to 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 Texas and you know you guys hit it off, and you and you decide to get married. And you meet the you, you meet the family from the, t the different state, each state, and two new worlds open up that were not open before because they were they were like swinging through the air like this, and then being one little one little part touched and psh, it lit up. 
Oh, and the thing that lights it up is gratitude. If you have these two things come together and there's no gratitude, it doesn't light up. So you're grateful that you met somebody, you know, in the same club, gave you a common interest. Like, yeah. In fact, I've I got to tell you this beautiful story. Um, and it's probably going to bring tears to my eyes because when I think about it, it does that. Um, there was a little boy, and it's, I think it was in Chicago, and I, and I believe this, I read this a long, long time ago. I think it was, might have been a Reader's Digest. And this little boy and his family were moving away out of Chicago. And as the car was leaving, he saw a little girl standing on the sidewalk. And he, it, she grabbed his attention so much that he, he spun around on his knees as he, and he watched in the rear, out the rear window at the girl as the car was going off and he asked his parents to stop, stop, stop. And of course they didn't, they were moving somewhere else. And the little girl was crying because the car was leaving. They, they just made this, they had this eye contact as, as little, little children. They might've been, I don't know, five years old, seven years old, who knows? Well, years pass and this man and this woman, they see each other maybe across the room and they are just taken by each other and they hit it off and eventually they get married. Years later, as a, one of them is talking about an incident that happened in his life in Chicago and the, and the girl and I don't remember who told the story to whom, but the girl or the boy remembered the same incident. One little plate hitting like this, and the whole world opened up. So, it's, it, our lives can be like that, you know, and it could be that the plate relates to uh, relationships, that there's all this information about relationships. And maybe, you know, like in my case, I didn't, I was not successful with relationships in my life. You know, I started out with a, being severely beaten with a broken back and apparently I put, it took on certain personality traits that didn't support me either in relationships or in work or, or whatever, because I was angry and I was mistrustful, you know. So, uh, so this could be a relationship play of how to be successful in a relationship, right? And your world is over here, it's like my world over here, and it's not coming in contact with this one, but at some point, because, because I'm you know, saying this isn't working for me, what can I do? And it's not a straight line, it's not like you necessarily go and boom. It's something, if you have the desire, uh, uh, on some level, it only has to be this much, and it comes into the other plate, and here's the knowledge of how to be successful in relationships. And you hit it, and two things can happen. You can feel really bad because you realize that the way that you were living your life, or if I was living my life, was to feel depressed and upset about it because I screwed up all these different things. You know, working relationships, personal relationships, all that. Or you can be grateful, because when you're grateful, the whole plate, all the information in this plate becomes available to access. So you can be in your life, you can be in a place that feels like there's no hope. Maybe you're stuck with somebody, maybe you're married to somebody, I don't know, you know, and they're abusive to you, physically abusive. And you think I'm stuck, you know, I, I, I got three kids and, and, I, and I'm just picking numbers, you know, I just, whatever, I don't, I'm not thinking of anybody. Um, and you feel like I can't get out. But these plates come together and so even though we don't have the knowledge of how to get out of the situation right now, when we have the desire, even this much, and it, come, it will sooner or later come in to touch the other plate. And if we feel gratitude about that, that 
whole thing lights up. And I got to tell you, in this dream, it was just remarkable. They were, I don't remember who they were now, but they were, they were people who I would recognize or you might recognize who were, you know, fairly famous. They were in the dream and, and they had access to, to things, you know? And so in our world, let's look at our world. Right now, it, most people would agree that things are really in bad shape. There's a lot of corruption. You know, food costs are high. Gasoline prices are high. We have our country is being overrun by illegals and, and, uh, and by drugs. Something like 100,000 people dying from fentanyl, just as one small example. You know, stores being looted, all kinds of just corruption everywhere. And in our case, it turns out, and I'm just going to name a, a few names just to, so we can ha kind of make it particular. There are th three companies, there's uh, BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street, who own shares in corporations around the world. They have enough shares between the three of them that they control the behavior of those companies. And, they, and it, this includes television stations, networks, uh, you know, the, the drug companies, the military, uh, every, you know, food, food products, everything. So they can control, uh, oh, and some of these companies are buying homes. So let's say you as an average person decide you want to move and you want to buy a house. And then at the last moment, somebody comes in, some limited partnership comes in and buys the house, offers a huge amount of money and buys the house out from under you before you can, before you could purchase it. And they, they have a re they want to make money with it. So they're, they've got some scheme to make money this way. And, but it leaves you out that you cannot move out of the house. That you, so your freedom is impacted. So anyway, so they have these companies and we think, Oh my gosh, they control everything. They control what's on the news. They control the prices. They control what jobs are available. You know, all kinds of things. Medicine, everything. How can we possibly change that? Well, let's look at the, look at the plate example. You, you have the desire to change it. And this is this is the the way things are right now, or or inclu including what's right now is the knowledge of how to fix all of this. And we think, oh, we don't have any power. We have no power. They have all the money. They have a, they 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 decide the jobs or who who does what, everything, right? But there's this plate out there of knowledge of how to fix things. And when we, we're going along, and we just ding one little thing, and if we have gratitude about it, so rather than hating those companies and being mad, we feel grateful that we have something has, uh, has come into our awareness. It lights up, and we see the whole picture. We see the whole picture. It's like, it's like the whirling bliss machine. All right. I was aware of fidget spinners at that time because they were very popular at that time. And I was also aware, you see the little yellow uh, on there, the discs, I was aware of uh, negative oxygen ions and creating negative oxygen ions. And one morning when I woke up, I was at, at a horizontal, and, and it, what happened is, is I cleared some stuff, it's like I had this cloud over my head regarding the beating that I had taken when I was a year old, right? And I had done some exercises and that cloud had just vanished. So now the plate, I had clarity in my plate. So it changed the motion, the momentum of the plate. Instead of going down here where you'd ever see it, it was up here and it was moving. And then here was the information about fidget spinners and, and negative ion discs. And actually, in, the, in one sense, they're 
like I had that knowledge in my brain already. You know, and it, so one, one bit of knowledge was over here and the other bit of knowledge was here. They were not coming together because there was this dark cloud preventing them from being there. So these plates come together. And, and in fact, just being aware that these plates exist and how you can light up the whole area, that can remove the cloud. So you don't have to, it's not, you know, if you have a cloud hanging over you, you can free yourself from the cloud just by this awareness that there is a whole world out there with the answer, all the answers that you need. So here they come, the, the uh, fidget spinners and the, and the iron disc. Now they've moved closer together. And bingo, it just tapped right here. The whole thing came to me in a, in a split second. I mean, it was it, not even a tenth of a second. And the whole thing and why it worked, everything came together. It lit up. It lit up. So every aspect of our life, the entire universe, it seems to fit into this kind of a plate uh, metaphor, if you will. But this dream was so real. I mean, I was, I was directing the dream as it went along so I could see more and more plates. And they just come in contact, bing, and then if you have gratitude, it lights the whole thing up. So all the answers that you need can come to you in an instant. So whether it's a relationship that you're having, you know, maybe your child's behaving a certain way, or your, your parents are, have ha had a, a pattern of behaving a certain way towards you, or whatever. It, it could be work. Or, you know, and also the big picture that we have, that we all come together, because that was the other part of the dream, is we come together as this happens, so that, so that when I came towards this one plate, a whole world opened up to me. So I had, you know, I had resources, all kinds of resources in the dream for doing, you know, accomplishing things, getting things done, relieving myself of certain ideas. Everything was in there. Right? And so, of course, this plate, as it goes along, now i got more plates that I'm working with that are lit up. And I, it goes, oh, I, I'm lit up, and there's another plate. I see it. All right, well, let's go there. Boom. And it's like one after another after another. So I hope this helps you in your life. Um, you know, uh, one example, and I see if I can remember this, uh, you know, Oh yeah, this book, this book here, The Doctor Who Cures Cancer, that I wrote. I was just a schmo, right? Just a schmo, really. And uh, I came, I, I happened to be in touch with the doctor's office. They sent me some material, and it was like a whole plate lit up. A whole plate. And I, I knew when I, when I saw it. It was not an article. I was planning on writing an article. It was a book. I mean, it was like it was like a thunderbolt. Boom! It was a plate that lit up. Two years later, with me sleeping on a friend's sofa, a fold-out bed, sofa, the book got written. You know, a second before I read the thing, that wasn't even a part of my life. So it, ha it can happen. It's very, very real. So just imagine these liquid plates. Full, and they're shiny, clear, and they have little colors in them. You know, I'd be specks. So that's why I saw it in the dream, with like little specks. So sometimes I'd see things in there. And it's like, oh my gosh, look at that. So I hope that you with this awareness, realizing this is the way the universe works. It's designed so that when you touch it with gratitude, a whole new world can open up to you, and then another whole new world, and another whole new world. Just like, you know, a young, you know, little child, another a boy and a girl grow up, different states, they come together, whole new worlds open up. Whole new world. So, I hope this helps you. You take care.
God bless. I got a busy day today, so I won't be able to take a nap. So I guess I'm going to be kind of punch drunk the whole time. <laughs> you take care. Bye.